Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. In this video I'd like to show you the recent changes that have come about and massively nerfed the three different healing rolls. There's the Paladin, the Cleric and the Warlock. All three of them took a massive hit with the recent update that was just two days ago. Nearly all of their healing magnitudes were decreased by just over a half. However, to come set this cost, their healing costs have been reduced by a certain amount, but in my opinion, they really don't make up for it. Alright, so let's jump straight into the changes that happened to the Paladin. So here I am on my Paladin, which I regularly play and love doing so. Here I'm on my Oathkeeper build. These are the stats I'm generally one running with. The first change that happened was to our Cure Wounds. Beforehand, the magnitude, the heal magnitude was 500. Now it got nerfed to 250. So it got reduced by half. And the divinity cost got increased by 10, up from 30. So it's now 40. So you won't be able to spam that as much as you could. And it'll be way harder to heal the tanks than it was. For an example of how much you'll heal for on your cure wounds, nearly 50k on that at will. That's like nothing. If I need to heal a tank who's on a million HP, it's going to take me a ton of these casts. Then with Divine Touch, the magnitude on this used to be a thousand. And then it would divide up between five targets to have a floor value of 200 magnitude. Well, this magnitude got changed down to 600. And now the floor magnitude is 120. This is abysmal. I will show you how much you actually shield with Divine Touch when you're shielding 5 players or more. You can see here I have 4 targets including myself, right? And I cast Divine Touch. That's the size of my shield. That is minuscule, right? Admittedly, I do have nearly 600k HP. But that, that's like, what, 40k shield? Maybe less, maybe 30k shield. How? And then on a crit, this is what I get. That's probably about 50k shield, right? That's the size of my crit shield. That, and that's a division floor, dividing between four targets. It gets even lower than that on five. All right, next up, we have Divine Shelter. Look at the magnitude now. It's 200. This thing used to be 450. And we were only shielding for about 150. Now look at it. I'll slot it and I'll show you how much max shield I can get. And this is your bread and butter AOE heal now, right? If I need to heal 10 targets, I'll definitely be using Divine Shelter. Because just look at Divine Touch. Divide that by 5 and you're at 120 magnitude. That's no way going to suffice compared to, let's say, Divine Shelter now which is 200 still 80 magnitude more but the shield is abysmal look at the size of this thing it's not a whole lot better than divine touch that's a crit right that is a crit and that's not a crit and that's a crit i'm shielding for about nearly 100k on a good day fully buffed and stuff nearly at 200k power and you're not going to get a whole lot more when you need to reach the defense caps and whatnot. Anyway, moving on. Our cleansing touch, I don't believe, has been changed. It was pretty meh back then. It's still pretty meh. However, if you look at it now, it actually heals for more than our cure wounds at the same cost. If you look at our cure wounds, it's got a divinity cost of 40 and a magnitude of 250. Compared with cleanse, cleanse would actually be better at healing the tanks. Along with those changes, our Hand of Divinity also got heavily nerfed. This thing used to have a 1,500 magnitude. It's been reduced to 900. Cost has decreased, however, by 60, down from 200 to 140 to make up for that. But you won't be able to raise those big massive shields anymore. We're only going to be able to shield a tiny amount and it's barely going to be a lot more than our shel Divine Shelter. If I use my Hand of Divinity here, see, I get about maybe 150k shield there. And that's not much at all. 
Basically, the magnitudes got reduced by about half. Costs, however, did get reduced. If I go back over them, you can see Divine Touch, its costs got reduced by 100. It used to cost 200. Divine Shelter got reduced to 120. This thing used to cost 220 Divinity. Which means now we're going to be spamming heals a lot more. But they're nowhere near as potent. So as a Paladin healer, you won't have that satisfactory role of like, if I don't give them a big shield now, they're probably going to get one shot from this mechanic. You don't have that satisfying, they need me kind of thing in the dungeon. Now, our heals are hardly better than a freaking healing potion. You can see this thing will heal for 65,000. Anyway, moving on, let's go to what, what changes ha occurred to the cleric and the warlock. Alright, so here I am on my cleric. I don't have him geared out nearly as much as I could. He's nowhere near maxed out. I don't really generally play a cleric much. I just play it for the random cues and whatnot and see how it is there. But anyway, the first thing that changed was the Soothe. Very similar to the Cure Wounds on the Paladin. Essentially, it's the at-will healing power. It used to have 500 magnitude. Now it's 250. It used to have 30 divinity cost. And now it's gone up to 40. So it would be even more expensive. To heal with your at wills. Moving on to our encounters, the Bastion of Health. This thing used to have a 2200 heal magnitude and a 200 divinity cost. This got reduced to 100 divinity cost, as you can see here, and 1500 magnitude. This magnitude, oh, it looks great. However, this thing also divides. Like the Paladin's Divine Touch, it will divide down to five targets. And if you heal any more than five, it'll just stay at that base magnitude. So this thing is only going to heal for 300 magnitude. That's like nothing. Oh my god, that's nothing. On live at the moment, you have 600 magnitude. That's double this. Not to mention all the nerfs we had to outgoing healing companions. And the potency of crit severity for our heals was reduced by half. So you're going to struggle like hell to heal a group with Bastion of Health. Moving on to the healing word, it's the same standard as it was before, that's kind of lucky for the clerics. And then the remaining encounter powers for healing, like cleansing light, that wasn't touched, intercession, that wasn't touched, and astral shield, that wasn't touched either. However, again, like the hand of divinity on the paladin, the light of divinity, the one for the cleric, that did get reduced. Its heal magnitude used to be 2,500. It got reduced to 1,600. And I believe that's everything for the Cleric. Let's move on to the Warlock. Here I have my Warlock. I have her fairly well kitted out since I have been running the new trial with her. Anyway, let's move to the changes. Changes again. The At Will, the Soul Reconstruction. This thing used to have a 500 magnitude. Now it got decreased. The cost increased. So anyway, moving on to the actual heal powers. The Revitalize, this thing used to have a 1,500 magnitude. It's, again, it's like the Divine Touch and the Bastion on the Cleric. It divides when you heal more targets. Anyway, it got decreased to 800 magnitude, and the cost decreased to 100, down from 200. However, now when you want to go ahead and heal 5 targets, this thing will have a shocking 160 magnitude heal. You won't be doing much with it. When you want to heal people in like a trial where you have 10 of us. And then the soul storm. Fortunately and gratefully this thing didn't get changed. It still costs a ton 220. You'll only be casting it just over 4 times. Before all of your soul weave is gone. However it still heals a decent amount. And it's a small area so you'll need to make sure your allies group up for this actual heal. This is kind of what makes... The, the Warlock, not great for healing in the Trial, because everybody has to stand in one spot. And in the new Trial, there's just so many mechanics where they have to spread out. And everybody spread, and that's when you need kind of that healing word and that divine shelter like the Paladin has. So, the Warlock's just, it just doesn't really cut it, and it's not great. You need a lot of team coordination to make a Warlock work. Anyway, on the upside... The Warlock did get 
the actual ability to cleanse people. You can see here on the vampiric embrace, it now has the added effect that it removes one negative, negative condition from yourself and nearby allies. However, the downside for the, with this is you actually need a target to hit to be able to use it. You can see I have it slotted here and I'm not able to use it on anybody. Well, I have to actually hit an enemy to be able to cleanse people and your allies have to be next to that enemy. Otherwise, yeah, it's not going to do anything. Fortunately for the Warlock as well, their tab heal, the life pact, actually never got reduced. It still has a thousand heal magnitude and the exact same cost of 60 soul weave per second. You can still heal yourself a thousand magnitude per second, which is actually pretty cool. So it makes the Warlock healer the best at healing the tanks. This in my opinion is, yeah, it's fine. At least it gives something that the Warlock can excel at over the other classes. As you may have noticed, I am rather triggered and frustrated with what they have done to the Paladin. They completely removed the effectiveness of their shields. Anyway, if you have any opinions or suggestions, you can feel free to leave them in the comments below. I've also left a link to the forums of healing adjustments. All other people's opinions and such are there. If you want to leave your own, that would be great. Developers generally look in the forums, but don't expect any reply. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hopefully it was informative and you can know what to expect as soon as Mod 19 drops in 4 days and it won't be too much of a shock for you when you all of a sudden won't be healing for anything at all. We'll see you in the next one and goodbye for now.